Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry for not uploading over the past couple of days. I mean, I did upload yesterday. It was a video from three days ago, which is private. I had a load of stuff I needed to sort out in terms of my life in general. And I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow covering everything that's gone off in the last couple of days as I'm taking a different direction with where I'm going in my life in terms of YouTube, in terms of the job I do now, in terms of future jobs. Pretty crazy stuff, but I had a long, hard think about it and I just didn't really have the motivation to upload really because it was just on my mind constantly you know it was a bit of a downer to be fair but i'll cover that in tomorrow's video anyway but yeah before we do start this video guys make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button we're in the road to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year we're almost halfway there almost at 1,500 subscribers so make sure you're smashing that subscribe button yeah in today's video guys i have the craziest xp exploit inside of modern warfare it helps you get up ranks helps you get up tiers apps so so quick and I didn't even know about this until the like Sunday, I think it was, so the last day of double XP. And I wish I knew about it earlier. And even if you, there is no double XP, this is still the fastest way to rank up and rank up on the battle patch. You can get to like tier 100 in a weekend. It's so, so crazy. So if you guys are struggling with the tiers, because I know they take ages to rank up on, or you're struggling with your ranks, you want to get the office rank challenges ticked off and whatnot, or you've just got the game and you want to rank up and unlock the different guns, then this is for you guys. Make sure you're watching to the end of the video to make sure you don't miss out on any of the tips I'm going to give you. Because I'm going to show you the most quickest and efficient way and how to do this exploit inside of the game. But yeah, it's not going to be on multiplayer. It's not going to be on Warzone. It's going to be surprisingly on co-op mode. You guys may or may not have heard of this. I had never heard of it until Sunday. Like I said, I just scrolling down YouTube. I came across this video. So I try and give credit to the person whose video I saw. And this video didn't even have a thousand views. I don't know how it came up and I suggested it was just the craziest thing ever. Um, I just don't know how I didn't know about this. I'd never actually played um, co-op mode inside of Modern Warfare until this moment. The mission you want to do is going to be called Kvalda. So what you want to do is click, it took me ages to find this straight off the bat. I don't know why, it just took me ages. You want to click special operations as you hop into the co-op mode. And there you can see it's the fourth one down, Kvalda. Honestly, at first, this mission is super hard, but we're going to hop straight into the gameplay right now. You can earn from minimum 50,000 XP. Maximum I've earned is, I think, 150,000 XP from one playthrough. Each playthrough can take from 5 minutes to 15 minutes. I've never had one longer than 15 minutes. It just depends on the kind of lobby you get and what, how good the players are you're playing with. Okay, guys, dropping into the mission. The class up you want to have is some kind of LMG and a sniper. And straight off the bat, maybe not in your first playthrough if you've never played Spec Ops before, you won't be able to do this. But once you've played it once, you'll be able to buy things from the munition station as you saw me do just there. I only buy two juggernauts in this walkthrough, but I would highly recommend buying three juggernauts. Having these juggernauts in this mission essentially makes you invincible because there's certain factors depending on what you're playing with where the juggernauts are pretty much going to save you this mission. For instance, when the mission first starts, as you'll see in just a second, there is snipers you need to take out. A lot of people you play with, for some whatever reason, don't like to take these snipers out. Um, I have no idea why, and I have no idea why we're not. <laughs> I didn't do it in this playthrough, but trust me, there's four, four five snipers I think there is, uh, all in the towers. You can see them all from the very start of the mission. You need to take them out. They're very obvious to see. There's one there as I'm aiming in right now. You need to take them out because if the people you're not in a juggernaut suit, these down you in two hits, uh, and if there's people around you as well shooting you, you're gonna go down more or less instantly. Sorry, my phone's going off right now. Just quickly drop the mute button on that. Um, so yeah, make sure you take out the snipers. It's absolutely key. Uh, and if your teammates run away from you whilst you are shooting the snipers down, like they jump in the car, because nobody seems to do it for whatever reason. I have no idea why, apart from two people I did come across uh, on my first ever playthrough, gave me that tip, and I've done it ever since, and it's helped out massively. Um, so make sure you take out the snipers first off. And if the teammates run away from you, uh, you have the juggernaut suit to catch up with them and meet them at the this I forget what this area of the map is called, but it's the first objective where you have to uh, tap into the router uh, to start the download to find where the manifest crates are going to be. Uh, so it's pretty simple. So if you don't, if they run away from you, hop in the juggernaut suit and walk over here. It's going to save you a lot of time because you're going to go down. If you don't have the juggernaut suit, you will go down 100%. Uh, more than likely, trying to walk here because there's just so many enemies. But yeah, once you get here, you'll be already in the juggernaut suit, juggernaut suit if you do it that way. But if you're in the car with your teammates like I just did here, as soon as you get to this area of the map, pop the juggernaut suit straight away. Help The teammates going to hop in and do the objective more or less anyway as well. The only downside to being in the juggernaut suit is you don't have the ability to revive people or do the objectives, which is annoying, but it is what it is. 
but if you're around the objective getting completed then you will still get the XP points for them which is key because I think each objective you could earn around 7000 XP I think it is just from securing the objectives or being around the objectives as they are being completed um, so what you want to do is when you come to the barracks area of the map you want to go on the computer Unfortunately, I don't think I'll show you in this gameplay as I'm sort of telling my teammates on what to do in this scenario Because I'm in the juggernaut suit, I can't do it But if you're not in the juggernaut suit or you're trying to tell the teammates on your team how to do this Go on the computer, it's the one that says manifest Don't waste time clicking through them all because you're going to get shot at It's the one called manifest and as soon as you click manifest you can actually exit out of the computer And then wait for the download to do it whilst you're still you know, able to shoot people back and whatnot You don't actually have to stay on the computer screen I've noticed a lot of people don't know that even which is a massive massive no because it's going to pretty much leave a player out of the game for a period of time you have to stay, spend time defending him like this kid is doing all he has to do is click manifest and just get off the computer and do whatever and wait for it but they don't do that I don't know why uh, so make sure you're doing that as well if you're playing if you're doing the objectives you just have to hop on the computer click manifest and click straight back off you don't even have to stay on and wait for it to download uh, so make sure you're doing that as well, it's going to give you a massive, massive advantage. And as you play through the mission more and more and more, uh, obviously I'm not going to demonstrate it too much in this because I pretty much recorded it on one of my first playthroughs. As you can see the Juggernaut suit ran out there, loads of enemies around me, I popped straight back into it as well. That's why I recommend getting free Juggernaut suits. Uh, so it's massive, helps you defend the team, helps them get the objectives done whilst you're just slaying with the uh, Juggernaut. And getting more kills as well is going to give you more, more, more and more XP and you're guaranteed every single time I've played this with so this, this tactic, I've had triple the amount of kills that everybody else on my team. I've had well over 100, 100 kills every single time. Maximize the XP, making sure you're around the objective as well. And, and if your team does go down fully, they have like a minute or so till they drop back in and be in that juggernaut suit. It's going to pretty much guarantee the chance of them dropping back in, uh, it, increasing chances even more on completing this mission. It got to the point for me that I'd played this mission so, so many times, I knew exactly where to aim at the right points, the spawn points for all and all the people. As you saw out there, I got plus 800 XP, that's because my teammates are doing the objective as I'm around them. So I'm still getting the points as if I was doing the XP, the uh, challenges, the objectives myself. So making sure you're around the teammates. But this is the annoying thing, I can't revive my teammate. Another top tip is using the medic uh, operator type thing. Uh, you'll see it when you're loading into the Spec Ops mode. Use the medic. It has fast re revive time, pretty much an instant revive on your teammates. So if it's a bit heated, you need to get a quick revive off. You revive them in literally a second. That's not even a joke. Uh, and if you're unable to revive teammates, if you're nowhere near them, and there's like three, two, three of your teammates down, they're all down. Uh, your specialist, if you will, is a team revive. So it revives all teammates, no matter where they are on the map. Comes in clutch so many times. Making sure you've got that on as well is just absolutely key. The right setup on this is key as well, you know, I mean, I've done it before, but I've pretty much completed this solo. A lot of people like to camp uh, at the first sort of objective, there's a big tower. Uh, a lot of people seem to camp up there, which I did see a video on the best way to complete this mission, and that's what it says to pretty much camp up there and let your team do the objectives for you. In my eyes, I think that's just not correct. It's not the best way to complete it in my eyes because you're miles away from the team, you depended on some other guy to complete the objective, and luckily when I've come across that, I knew how to do it myself. But once, if you come across someone who doesn't know how to do it, then you're absolutely screwed. So, I would recommend this tactic 100%, the juggernaut suit and whatnot. And if you've got your teammates camping up there, then you've watched this video, you're going to know what to do. So, you can sort of hop out of the juggernaut suit, do some objectives. Fingers get heated, hop straight back in the juggernaut suit. And as you can see, helicopters like this coming in. As you play it more, you'll know where the spawn points are for these helicopters and when they're going to drop in. And you can get a nice 10 multi-kill each time you kill one of them to rack up kills even more. So it's just based on experience and taking down these uh, helicopters as well. They take a while to take down, but you get a nice multi kill at the end of it. As you can see, I've got a triple kill there, but if you can get onto them as soon as they spawn in, you're going to get a 10 multi kill as well before they manage to drop anybody off. But as you can see, being in the Juggernaut suit just gives me that huge advantage. Unfortunately, I don't have a Juggernaut suit left. That's why I recommend getting free. So I would have had a Juggernaut suit now to pretty much the end of the mission. Maximizing our chances to, you know, complete this mission and... I recommend using the PKM with a thermal sight, that's the one I use, uh, pretty much obviously it's good at range, there's a lot of bullets if you get a big herd of enemies, which you do tend to get, and I think I actually get a Juggernaut again, am I correct? Yeah, I got a Juggernaut again, so this was super, super lucky, 
Um, so make sure you are searching them as well if you do have a free kill streak slot. You could get, possibly get a juggernaut. I think that's the best thing you can get. I mean, I've tried the chopper gunner tactic as well. I weren't really feeling the chopper gunner to be honest. I think the juggernaut is just the way to go, believe me. So yeah, around about this point, I'm just sort of waiting for my teammates to sort of complete the objective. I'm trying to tell them what to do and what not. But as I'm around the objectives here, I'm still going to get the XP points. Whilst racking up a lot and a lot of kills to maximise XP even further, I think on this playthrough, I get around, I think I get 96,000 XP. Uh, so that's an insane amount. So making sure when there is a double XP weekend on, you do capitalise on this tactic. Um, every time, obviously I'm not max rank yet because I didn't find out about this straight away, but in a day I went from, I think it was rank 60 something to rank 120 something. It was something crazy and it wasn't me just people sweating this for 12 hours. I think I had around, I don't know, maybe six hours game time, uh, which yeah is a fair amount of game time, but whilst we're all still at home just chilling out, I presume if you're at school, you're not, well you're not going to be at school. I think some schools went back, but you may not be, I don't even know what happened with that. Um, but another top tip which you saw me do there was shoot down the helicopter and this is when the juggernaut comes in key as well. The juggernaut can pretty much just destroy the helicopter straight away. Uh, if you don't have a juggernaut suit, no one has a juggernaut suit, the helicopter uh, will down you pretty much instantly as well. Similar to uh, you know other things, that, well, I can't remember the other thing I said that would down you instantly, I can't exactly remember the snipers. Um, it will just, you know, you've got to be outside to kill it and this thing hits hard. It just destroys you instantly, downs you instantly. I've lost a lot of games uh, by not doing that right. Obviously, it took me a couple of attempts to properly nail this tactic and find the best tactic. But using this tactic with three juggernauts, defending the team, making sure I'm covering them at all times while still being around the objective, I've managed to complete this every single time. As you can see, I'm only ranked 86. Um, at this playthrough, I've just ranked up. Um, so I was still a little bit trying to find the best tactic for this video. You know, it was a long process this video to be fair in finding the best tactic obviously I knew this was an absolute amazing strategy um, in order to get loads of XP but I wanted to make sure I could bring the best possible strategy to help you guys maximize chances of completing this thing every single time but once you do complete the manifest crates in the three locations around the map uh, the you will then have to come to the control tower which I'm stood on right now just hit a button and it will open the hangar where there is two tanks and this is pretty much, I have failed this mission a lot of times due to my teammates not knowing what's going off. So I do recommend having a mic. I've never actually played this with a bunch of friends. I've played every single one solo and just sort of tried to tell my teammates what to do through the mic. And a lot of the time they do listen, sometimes they don't, which is kind of annoying. Um, but at this point, uh, you need to mark the missiles in the thing. And my teammates are just speeding off. Obviously, they don't know what to do. But I know that... There's three tanks, I think enemy tanks as well, but I'm just at this point trying to get a lot of kills because rumour has it, I've not found any evidence for this as well, I've been trying to get evidence for that as well, but I couldn't. The longer you wait in this mission, the more XP you get, I don't think that's true um, at all. I think I did a, a five minute playthrough of some players who knew exactly what they're doing. Oh sorry, my teammates did actually mark the missiles, obviously I've, I've not watched this gameplay back since I've played it, which was a few days ago. Um, so yeah, they did know what they was doing, and then basically, once you've done marked the missiles inside of the hangar, you get in the tanks, just roll out to the end of the objective, there's three tanks, um, and a bunch of enemies as well at the end of the runway, so make sure you watch out for them. There is also one more helicopter, which is why having three juggernaut suits at this point, being named the juggernaut suit at this point is key, because this is a very open area, there's literally no, next to no cover for a helicopter and I have lost, <laughs> I've lost a couple of missions stood right where I am right now and it's super annoying because this is the last leg. My other teammate doesn't really know what's going off, he's still running around over near the hangar, um, which is annoying, I'm trying to get his attention but he's not having it, is what it is. And there we go, towards the end of the mission, I hopped out the Juggernaut suit, once this helicopter is dropping in, there will be no more enemies. If you haven't shot down the enemy helicopter by this point, it just flies away. Um, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And you basically just hop in the helicopter, and that's the end of the mission, you know. Uh, make sure you're not stood underneath the helicopter in the tank as it drops down. Uh, as it will down you, it will kill you instantly. Uh, I've not done that personally, but it's happened to a couple of my uh, teammates, which is slightly annoying. But yeah, three top tips. Juggernaut suit times three, it's a thousand points each, and once you you pretty much after you've done the first playthrough, you get unlimited juggernaut suits because you just pretty much double your points every time you play. I've never run out of points yet, so it's insane. So free juggernauts, make sure you take out the snipers. If your teammates leave you leave the leave without you in the car, don't worry, you're covered, you've got the juggernaut suits to catch up with them. 
And thirdly, helicopters, make sure you destroy the helicopters and everything else will come sort of natural. Uh, obviously, you know what to do with the mission, it's pretty simple, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to complete it every single time. And get between 50,000 and 150,000 XP based on how many kills you get, where you are, when the objectives are being complete. But if you can get a lot of kills with the Juggernaut soon, take out the snipers, take out the helicopters, you'll be set to go. I ranked up a bunch of times that game, 96,000 XP on that playthrough and that was just a very quick playthrough. Like like I said you can earn a bunch of XP in a very very short amount of time so yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video make sure you are capitalizing on this uh this strategy basically you don't need double xp because it will still earn you more xp than a shipment 24 7 lobby will regardless so if it's not double xp still to try this out you're going to get more xp than playing multiplayer standardly or warzone super quick way to rank up through the tiers rank up through the ranks uh, super effective super easy once you get it down you can do this every single time also if you wanted to do double xp then make sure you do have a regiment. I'll show you how to quickly do that right now. Uh, basically, when you're in the lobby, if you just press triangle, go over to regiments, and you will see this is my regiment right now, me and my brother. Um, basically, what you want to do is just create a regiment. I don't really know how to. You press L, yeah, press L2, and then I think it will create a regiment. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So you'll get an hour of double XP every single day. So if I click manage reg regiment now, uh, you have happy hour time, which mine is 5:55. I uh, don't know why it is that. I just set it to that anyway. So you get an hour of double XP every single day. So then you can capitalize on this double XP and play this mission. But about four to six times, depending on how quickly you can do it, and get a bunch, a bunch of XP. Literally a hundred thousand XP every single time. I think the minimum I did it was fifty thousand, and I think that was my first ever playthrough. So it's an insane, insane exploit. It's not a glitch, so there's no fear of getting banned or anything like that. Make sure you try it out for yourself. Let me know if you do and how you find it, and if it does help you. It's helped me a bunch this weekend. But yeah, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're smashing a like if you did like this video. And yeah, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter as well. Links for them are in the description below. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.